Good afternoon, Malaysia. It's a warm Mon No, it's a warm Sunday. It is the 21st of uh, July 2013. I'm at the stadium having lunch. So today I was attracted to this place called Faiki, and you can see there is that shop there, and they are making porridge. So today I'm going to order porridge with pork and also fried intestines and hopefully it will be a good good food porridge for lunch it is very suspect of course because it's just mainly water but at 4 ringgit and 50 cents hopefully it will be a good deal and you can see at the stadium there there's some big nice trees this uh, stadium is just around the periphery between the Ipoh city and also Canning Garden or Ibo Garden. So, yeah. Three sixty view. So I've never been to this uh, internet this Faiki before. So I'll try the porridge here, and hopefully it'll be nice. So see you in the part two of this food review. See you later. Hello Malaysia, welcome back and this is the food. I waited about 10 minutes for it so it's a long wait because uh, on this Sunday there are a lot of people waiting for their porridge as well. So maybe that's a sign of, of a quality and they have the fried, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, what's this called already? Uh? Fried Yao Chao Kui, this is a fried dough which I, if you see my past videos I tried to emulate uh, the ya fried yao chao kui when I was eating with my baku there by using French bread, stale, hard French bread. So this, when it comes to the porridge, normally it will be very, very hard. So it looks hard and very crunchy. That's good. So when it comes to yao chao kui, it's better. It can be very crunchy or it can be soft and fresh. So either way, it's pretty good. So you can see, see some slices of ginger here. And the consistency of the porridge is good. Not bad. And let's see the taste of it. Oh shit. It is actually pretty good. It's full of taste, the porridge. Uh, you can taste the, hopefully it's chicken stock and not MSG, hopefully, but it is very, very tasty. And normally when you eat this porridge, you eat it with the red chili here, which is made from chilies and garlic and whatnot. Some people, they do to shower their porridge with a lot of this green, uh, sorry, red chili. And the chili condiment is pretty good as well the only thing that is missing here is the pork which is all these slices here which is underneath and uh, there's not much of that pork so thank god I called the uh, uh, with uh, extra extra fried intestines which is this because the pork is just less uh, lacking so for this meal for 4 ringgit 50 cent um, all the fried intestines as well so I'll try the pork mm. the pork is full of taste it's pretty good very good mm. very good so another good sign of this uh, porridge stall is we are using real porcelain uh, bowls to hold their porridge and if you just go to a generic porridge seller or stall normally they will give you plastic ones so it's not so good but the only downside is the bowl i mean the spoon is actually plastic it would be nice it would be a nicer touch if it was porcelain as well and this chili here is uh, i think it's a normal chili Yep, it's normal. And I'm drinking watermelon juice, which uh, costs two ringgit, and it comes from a stall called Winky, I think. Winky, which uh, serves only drinks, 
It's not bad for a hot day itself. Today is a very hot day. So I haven't tried the fried intestines yet. So I'm trying one now. It would take a genius to actually feel in making a uh, fried good fried intestine so thank god the fried intestines here are, are well salted uh, quite a bit salty but it has a good crunch to it which i'm pretty impressed and hopefully i didn't hopefully there's no shit in it and because the pork intestines is hopefully clean clean properly so I've been enjoying my porridge so far. Uh, the only thing that's lacking here is the amount of ginger and the lack of greens, especially salads. Normally it comes with salad, but I guess uh, there were too many customers and there's no salad here. There's no green. There's no vibrant green in my white porridge. So I will give this porridge a four stars out of five because it's pretty 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 good except for this lack of salad the chili is good the pork is good the fried intestine is good everything's good everything's very very good so i found my second porridge stall which is good in Ipo. the first one is one in kampung simi itself i've yet to review that place but at least there's an alternative to that place is, is closed and well there's a place to fall back on this is pretty pretty awesome food and for four ring and fifty cents is all right by me even though the price is a bit high uh, it's around the KL standard price already every price or every price of food is going up in Malaysia and that's a worrying trend So I'm going to end my review here with not me eating the porridge but with a cat sleeping underneath a car. I don't know whether you can see that or not. But there's a cat sleeping there. You can see the ears. And there's a 360. So if you are ever in Nipo and you are in the stadium area, go to this Kaiki. Yes? Yes. Go to this Kaiki here and order um, a bowl of porridge. So see you Malaysia. This has been Jericho and this is a laugh. This is a wait a minute production. See you Malaysia. Bye bye. So this is the Inki res restaurant or uh, stall. Okay,是開幾時先？啊，係七點半到四點。夜晚啊？哦，朝頭早七點半到下晝四點。啊，OK。誒，咩日？今日嘅咩日啊？朝早啊，every day 啊，every day 啊，誒，seven thirty a.m. to four p.m. 啦。你唔使唞啊，你都呢度rest啊，唔使唞啊。啊，休息啊。啊，休息。休息係係點講啊？咁佢講英文，我講粵語嘅，唞到快一。每個月嘅月頭快一百二百三。英文啦，英文。每個月
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, well, there this is Jericho here and welcome to part 4 of this uh, inky porridge extravaganza. So this is the place, the Medan Slayer uh, Stadium or uh, I don't know how to translate it to English but it's uh, Slayer means taste and Medan means a place I think, stadium is stadium. And as you can see there at the, at the back backdrop is the stadium. Stadium of Perak, the, the where they have all those uh, what do you call it matches, football matches, and uh, it's near the Wis or opposite the Wisma Bulan Sabimera, which is uh, something to do with uh, medical thingies. And you can see there, there's the what do you call it, uh, hmm, the oh, oh brain freeze, oh brain freeze, fire station, yes, fire station. So, and if I walk further down, let's see, let's put you down here and hopefully you'll see everything that I see and not much bumpiness, better hold it, Inky is uh, around here I think, yep Inky is around here, there are a lot of nice trees around this place and the uh, official main swimming pool, uh, public swimming pool of Ipo is right around there so we had to pay a bit of money just to go in uh, not much uh, i haven't been there for a long time already <clears throat> and if you're looking for girls pretty girls school girls whatever there well well you're shit out of luck from last time from years and years ago there weren't many and i think there aren't many now so that's not the place to go to look at lollies or whatnot So it has been a very warm day, a very warm Sunday, a very warm 21st of June even, uh, July, sorry. 21st of July I think, 2013. And it's strange to eat porridge on a warm lunch day. Uh, but it was an excellent one, thank God. Let's take a look. Yep, you can see there, that's the main gate to the swimming pool and also to a normally large cock fest or sausage fest Unfortunately for us guys who are hornier than a bastard <laughs> Normally I wouldn't go to this stadium here to eat uh, food Especially on a uh, lunch time. Normally, I'll come to this stadium here just to eat. Uh, it's quite another stall which is famous. <coughs> Sorry, which is famous for its wonton noodles, wonton mean, or oh, wonton noodles. Yes, correct. Oh, there's one another place that's. Uh, I think is famous because there are a lot of people there. A lot of Malays. Malay, sorry. Restaurant Tasik Raban, Makanan Ala Kampung Ikan Bakar. Hmm. Village food. So, it's famous because uh, I think uh, there are always a lot of people there. But today is like deserted because it's Wasa and everybody is fasting, mostly Muslims. I mean, pretending to fast maybe. Okay, sorry. That's the. Here, yeah, look at here. That's where you enter the gates of Sausage Fest. So this has been a Jericho, pro 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 Jericho production, also known as a Wait a Minute production. And I'm off and see you in Malaysia. Bye-bye.